डियर स्टूडेंट एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सीमिंगली अनरिलेटेड रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस और उसमें बताया कि यस देर आर सर्टन कॉमन फैक्टर जो आपके एरर्स को को रिलेट कर देते हैं एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द केस ऑफ नाइजीरियन इकोनॉमी जिसमें हमने टाइम सीरीज डेटा लिया और ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टाइम सीरीज डेटा वी हैव डिसाइडेड दैट यस देर आर लाइक स्ट्रॉन्ग एसोसिएशन अमंग द एरर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट वेरिएबल इन द सेम पैटर्न Uh, I want to share with you some other research studies uh, conducted on uh, like panel studies. Or panel data, me, when we move, we move. Then, so, in that data, the nature of the data changes. But again, this is just to develop a conceptual understanding. That if you are going to apply the like uh, SOAR model on your farm system, then if you are going to apply the like SOAR model on your farm system, then if you are going to apply the SOAR model on different departments of your uh, university, uh, if you are uh, like Uh, going to use the sur analysis on uh, your like union council level analysis ya aap usko provincial level pe use karte hain to usme kis tarah kon kon si economic justification hai in the same pattern i have discussed with you in times analysis and in the next step uh, i want to share with you some of the research paper uh, on panel analysis uh, by using the sur analysis dear student this is another research paper which is on external debt investment and economic growth a seemingly unrelated regression model for low income countries isne low income countries ko liya hua hai and this paper has been published in journal of economic integration with volume number 34 number 4 in december 2019 aur ye sari journal ki detail hai this is about the research paper external debt investment and economic growth and again this is case of low income countries again the environment of low income countries is uh, to some extent same and uh, the external sector and external sector mein kya aata hai your trade openness your foreign direct investment investment is like foreign direct investment and your local investment and economic growth aur ye sare relate kar rahe hote hain agar aap is waqt uh, covid ki situation dekhe to covid ki wajah se jis waqt countries ka external debt change hua hai na तो उससे इन्वेस्टमेंट भी चेंज हुई और इन्वेस्टमेंट चेंज होने से इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ आप अगर एनालाइज करें डेटा तो आपको ये चीज ऑब्जर्व करेंगे कि पिछले एक और डेढ़ साल के अंदर आपकी जितनी इकोनॉमीज हैं उनकी इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ कम हुई है क्योंकि उसमें कुछ ग्लोबल फैक्टर्स हैं स्पेसिफिकली आफ्टर द लॉन्च ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन आपकी सारी ग्लोबल इकोनॉमीज है दे आर स्ट्रांगली लिंकड अगर एक इकोनॉमी स्लो डाउन आता है तो उसका इम्पैक्ट ऑटोमेटिकली दूसरी इकोनॉमी पे होगा और इसमें वो बता रहा है कि What is the justification of using SOAR model over here? And you have the basic idea. Or is me? Usne ye kiya hai ki yes, external debt is driving factor for investment and economic growth. Or ye jitne developing countries hain, in pe external debt ka role hai. Agar ek country ka external debt bharta hai, to dusre ka bhi bharta hai. Agar ek me slow down aati hai, to dusre me bhi slow down aati. There are some common factors uh, even in panel analysis. Or is study me? They have used the data from. 2000 to 2017 by using the sample of 23 countries or 23 countries jo hain in mein usko disaggregate jab kiya to there are 12 countries from more indebted countries and 12 countries less indebted like they have less indebted countries jinka debt ki ratio thodi si kam hai and 11 countries with the more indebted countries aur uski base pe empirical result of the seemingly unrelated regression model indicate that external debt significantly decrease investment and economic growth for both the total sample and the sub sample to uska disaggregate analysis aap kisi tarah bhi kar sakte hain to is study ne uska overall analysis kiya hai then usko disaggregate karke sur model apply kiya hai aur hum uske result next module mein discuss karte hain